9.45 on this Saturday morning. Time to wake up. Carl Nelson's here from the Imagination Station for our segment, Imagine It. And today, we're getting, we're getting complicated. Well, what are we doing? We're doing some forensic science. We're going to extract DNA from some fruit using just stuff that you can find in your bathroom and in your kitchen. Interesting. Okay. okay. So the DNA, deoxyribonucleic acid, right? That's the stuff that's the blueprint for mm -hmm, life. Mm -hmm. It's all tied up inside the nucleus of the cell. Right. Okay, so we need to get to the nucleus. Right now we've oh. got some plant matter that you would need to squish up. Okay, okay so to, you just to, want me to... Well, you could, but that's going to take too much oh, time. Oh, okay, so you already got it. With the magic of television, hey, I've already that. squished it up for you, so we'll get <laughs> that. That was easy. <laughs> All right, sounds good. So now we've got just the cells in sort of a slurry. We need to break up the cells themselves and break into the nucleus as well. Now, hmm. the cell walls are made up of things called lipids, right. which are like fat. Fat. So mm -hmm. go ahead and um, pop that open, because okay. what we're going to do is in your kitchen, if you had fats, you would use dish soap, okay? Right. So we're going to add two teaspoons of dish soap to about a half a cup of water. Okay. This is going to help us break into the cells. I'm also going to add in half a teaspoon of salt. That's going to help the DNA stay together hmm. or clump together. So we're going to mix this up. And if you do this at home, you don't want to get a lot of bubbles in there. You just want to slowly stir it. Okay. This is the solution that's going to break into the cells and into the nuclei to release the DNA. Interesting. And we're talking just table salt and, and just you know, dish, dish soap. soap. Okay. Again, because the cell walls are made of lipids, which are essentially fats, mm -hmm. the dish soap will help do that. Now, we don't want to put it all in. Maybe just a little bit. You want to not be able to see through the solution. If you make it too watery, it's not going to work so okay. well. Okay. So go ahead and seal that back up. All right. Try to get the air out of there oh, as well. Okay. I'll squish the air out. You seal the top. And Got now, it. this is if you have 20 minutes mm -hmm. of time, <laughs> you let this sit around. Go ahead Carl, and this is TV. I know. I know. All right. That's, it'll still work though. So go ahead and gently squish that back and forth. Um, we want to, again, break down those cell walls using the detergent to rip them open, release the DNA. Interesting. Okay. Again, if you've got 20 minutes, let it sit around for 20 minutes. Your yield of DNA will be bigger. You'll okay. get more stuff at the okay. end. I think that's good for now. All right. Let's pop that open and we're going to pour it into this coffee filter on top of a glass. All right. The whole thing? If you can get the whole thing in, that'd be great. All right. Whoa. There we go. Okay. Good. It's just that we got a lot of plant matter in there, and we don't want all that other stuff. We don't want the seeds. We don't want all that other goopy okay. stuff. So if you can go ahead and squeeze that now, just gently. We want to get the liquid out. You can be a little more forceful. Okay. We want to get some nice liquid out, and that liquid will oh, be containing yes. the DNA. Okay. Now, now, am I contaminating it by putting my hands on it, right? They wouldn't do this in real you know forensics, what? right? You, that's absolutely, <laughs> you are absolutely right. You're absolutely right. We're doing a very dirty <laughs> DNA extraction. Okay. Real, real forensic scientists would do this in a much more careful way, but the basic process is the same. Right. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Okay, cool. So now we've got DNA, which is soluble in water. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just, it, we're not going to be able to get it out of the water unless we add something that can sort of precipitate the DNA. Just like rain comes out of moist air, right. we can get the DNA to come out by taking some rubbing alcohol. Oh, okay, another household item. Right out of the bathroom, All the right. rubbing alcohol. What I'm going to do is pour this gently down the side because the alcohol is lighter, or less dense than the water. Okay. So we can get a layer of alcohol that's roughly as thick as the layer of the juice that we had below. Huh. And what's happening now is the DNA is actually coming out of solution. It's probably going to be hard to see on the TV camera, but if you look down inside there, do you see that like yes. white cotton ball-y like mm -hmm. stuff? That's actually the DNA. Really? Now, it looks like, I know you can't see it here, but it looks like cotton candy. Maybe you can see kind of on the side. Well, what we can do is we can actually go inside here with a skewer and spin some of it up. Oh, which is funny, just like cotton candy. And Oh, wow. And that might be hard to see, but it's like a little snot ball of sorts. Uh-huh. I did one earlier, and maybe that'll be easier to see. Yeah, you here, can maybe see we can a, tip the cup. A lot more of the DNA that has come out the top. Interesting. So see that floating in there? That's the DNA. Wow. So, I mean, it's just really cool. Just with household stuff, mm -hmm. you can extract DNA um, from uh, strawberries, kiwis, bananas. If you really wanted to be gross, you could take a cup of water with salt, squish it around your mouth, shake your cheeks around, mm. extract some of your cheek cells, do the same thing. You can get your own DNA. There you go. And if you had a microscope at home, then you could what? Pull out this and could you put it on a slide? Would you see anything? Well, the DNA is so, so, so very small. tiny. Okay. You would need like an x-ray crystallography setup, which you're probably well, not going to have Well, that's why I'm not a forensic scientist, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> right, it would be really hard to see. But just the, the basic process, this is what forensic scientists would do. Wow. They would break down the matter um, into the cellular level, then break into the cells, break into the nucleus. You made it seem so DNA. easy, but I think it's a lot more complicated than <laughs> there, this, there's right? A, there's a lot more <laughs> that goes into it. But again, the basic process is releasing it from the from the nuclei. Wonderful, and we only have a few seconds here, but as we talk about food, you guys have a new exhibit down at the Imagination Station. Tell us about it. Eat it up. It's all about nutrition and how you can make small changes into what you eat and how you are, how you are active in your life to make long, impactful changes hmm. in your health. 
Cool. So it's really cool. Lots of cool exhibits. You definitely come check it out. All right, Carl. Thanks so much. That's this week's Imagine It. From there, we want to go over and check in with Dave. He's got to check a sport.